All right, this is one of the videos I had uh, still saved in my rebuttals um, playlist. And it's called, Why Black Women Are Least Likely to Marry Outside of Their Race. And it's by The Real. Now, the I think the two black women they have is uh, Tamara or Tia, one of them. And then, of course, Lonnie Love, who uh, Tamara is married, Lonnie is not. And... Lonnie was crying in a thumbnail, which makes me believe that we're about to get a whole bunch of, oh my God, everybody's off to get us and just blah, blah, blah. blah. I just, that, that's just how I feel. Maybe I should approach it neutrally, but I can't. So but let's get let's get into it. Scott Wong. <laughs> and I that like was him. not a Wong answer. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can say that. And he was so sweet. Got it. So, so you sweet. never felt that pressure at all? Never. Yeah. Never think, at all. Um, you were encouraged. I know when I uh, brought James into my life, I did not choose James on purpose. Oh. I did not. Yeah. No, it was it was done because of compatibility. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying to a lot of my sisters. I want to speak to my sisters because she right here. Is, is this a low key? swirl promotion thing first of all let's get it right out there i don't care who marries who who dates who who mates who whatever i i, I really I, again i'm just doing this to to see what the, the excuse is going to be given yeah <laughs> Incarceration. Oh. There's a lot. Stop using that. Stop using that. Jeez. I. This has been pointed out before, and it has to be pointed out again. You don't catch really attractive women complaining about incarceration, dude. How many black men are not incarcerated? And still single. And like, I think they said the black men childless single rate is like, like extreme, like over 40% at least. It's like, if, if it's that high, you can't, you cannot use incarceration and death as one of the, no. When all the single black men are taking up, then you can use incarceration and uh, uh, death. Because otherwise, either you don't want them and or, sorry, they don't want you. One of the two or maybe both. But that that you don't have the, the leeway to use, oh, they're all dead. And just, no, stop. Please stop, ladies. Stop it. Um, you know, there's some people that it's just not available. Yeah. And I'm just tired of seeing my sisters alone. You are a good woman and you deserve to have happiness. <laughs> Here's a common trend I'm seeing, all right? So when they're older, this, these are the reasons, all right? Oh, they're, they're just not there. They're just gone. They, they evaporated. Blah, doo, doo, doo. But when they're younger, what's the complaint? Oh, it's all just Netflix and chill. It's all, they don't want to take us on $200 days. Oh, they, it's like, is it ever just, I ain't shit. Is, is that ever a reason? Is that ever only options in, in your options list ever? And I'm not saying because you're single, that's absolutely it. I'm asking, I'm seriously asking, is that ever an option for you? Is it, is it ever, can you actually, and I'm going to use that as an example just because she's, she's the one talking here. Is it ever, a, maybe that when you're somebody like Lonnie Love, part of the reason you can't really find a partner like that is because... Kind of massively unattractive on a huge scale. Is is maybe maybe that's why. And then you bring in how many times have the attitude thing been brought up? And then you all can will confront it with, well, just can't handle me, or why I got it's, it's dude, at, at some point, can you actually look at add to that list of maybe it's me? 
but no, 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 no. As in, I've seen a few times where when we'll ask a woman on these one of these panels or something why they go for these, you know, they call them Pookie and Ray Rays. The response is often, well, a lot of y'all ain't shit anyway, so you might as well take the ones that look good. It's like... <laughs> I, I, I can't escape the question. Can you ever think maybe it's you? I'm sick of this. This is annoying when people can never take any accountability at all. I could meet you in the middle somewhere and say, yeah, there's a lot of black men who ain't shit. There's a lot of black women who ain't shit. Let's see if we can kind of bring these ain't shit people to the best uh, matchup possible. Damn. And I hate that deserve word. That is that is a pain in my ass. You don't deserve. You, how do you deserve what you don't have? And it's nowhere in sight. How do you deserve it then? How? That is that is that doesn't make any sense. If you deserve it, it'll at least be on its way, won't it? But you're 50 now? And crying? Because you deserve it. All right. Uh, look, 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 people, and this is people, men and women. If you prioritize something over finding a partner, like your career, you might just get just a career. You increase your chances of having just the career. If you prioritize having fun, and I just did a, a reaction video to Classical Abby's hook, man, stop, excuse me, stop hooking up. If you prioritize hooking up and not finding someone, you might end up with just having to hook up. Like, you, you follow me? And the issue here that we're trying to like walk eggshells over is why do you feel like you yeah. can't go outside of your race without someone? I will say it then. I, yeah. will, I, feel, uh, I feel like what they said. I feel like I would be turning against them. Right. Get the fuck out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Really? Re so, you get offers from non-black men for long-term companionship. Long-term. Whether it includes marriage certificate or not. You get offers for long-term quality men who aren't black. And you turn it down despite seeing some of your older examples and risk being like that. That's what you do that for us. Oh, oh, thank, thank you. So thank you. Uh, I really don't give a fuck to pay it back. Like, you're going to pass this to me. Anything to say, but maybe it's me, right? That's real. That's what I'm saying. And, and you're I'm so glad that's you were honest about you will that. Because you will have people actually criticize you yes. for it. And that's the reality. Yeah. I didn't know. Y'all really, really, you're going to pass it? You're going to pretend like you give a fuck about criticism? This is the same group of people who when you say, yo, can y'all stop wearing so much damn weed? Fuck you. I'm a, you're gay. I'm going to wear what I want. But you care about criticism. When you say, yo, maybe y'all should stop being so attitude out. Fuck you. You just mad because you, eh. But you give a fuck about criticism. Tell the same people. Hey, maybe y'all stop having baby bodies type, certain type of dude. No, you just, you won't just man up and tell them. Well, blah, 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 blah. But you will give a fuck. Stop selling me this. You liar. That is not the case. You don't care about criticism. But anything to say, maybe it's Anything to, to keep from saying, maybe it's me. It's a beautiful scheme. Beautiful. How much criticism I would get once I introduced my boyfriend to the world because of my lifestyle at home. Yeah. Everybody was so, you know, welcoming. But the moment I went to the Billboard Awards, I'll never forget it. It was the first time this American sweetheart experienced so much hate. 
and I didn't under I didn't understand it. Yeah. So I'm really happy that we are talking about this now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Don't be afraid. No, I I now really, really, really am against when people call out that dude, the mad bus driver, because as as cringy as it is, when he show all those pictures of black men smiling with white women or Asian women, the fact that they were able to have a panel like this on fucking which what channel is this on a mainstream network? Hey, hey, post away. Post them pictures. Go ahead. Love? Don't be afraid. Love is love. And that's the beautiful thing about yeah. God and I hope, I mean, heaven. The thing is, is we're going to have all different types. Yeah. yeah. Of yeah. 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 I, I applaud you for taking that moment. It was a struggle for you. you it was. That I moment. was trying to skirt over it, but, you and, know, and Ronnie has, is like a truth serum. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> what yeah. You. But everybody of a culture, it, it, you might not take the moment to just think behind why haven't you ventured out if you don't. Mm-hmm. And if you pre- prefer not to, that's fine. But just to wonder if there's something holding you back from stigmas or old ideologies. like Yeah, but I, I have a very public, everything is such a public yeah. platform. With yeah. yeah. So at this point, I'm just scared of men in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's honest. <laughs> Make it real. Yeah, yeah. And that's no, why I'm scared. Like, like when I found my sister, she loves me for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So right. to find somebody who will love me for me yeah. is a little, you Your know. The person is out there. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. 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 You just have to really take your time. You just have to really take your time. Well, Lottie, you were supposed to hook me up with the thing <laughs> on the thing. I am. I'm still going to do it. Yeah. I'm still going to do it. But okay. I want to say something, too, to be honest. When you date outside your culture and it's not your culture, mm-hmm. there's going to be differences. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's you like know, what? I mean, like I, what? I try to keep a beat with James, and I just can't keep a beat with him. It's yeah, just... Are there any things that are almost adventurous and fun, though? That's like, what I I'm saying. You don't have to look at it in a negative way. You could be like, yo, there's so many new no, cool things I'm about negative, to learn. No, it's not negative, but it's an it's a, a you know? eye-opening. Like, he's different. Yeah. His culture is different. Why is old girl over here, the, the, the Martin Lawrence chick that played Martin's girlfriend, she can't be really into this as she, when they put the camera on her, uh, she attempts to smile, but some look at her face now on the left. She really is like, damn, something's going on. Either she really is fucked up over this topic or something else in her life is all haywire and shit. Like, let me look, look at her face. Let's go back 10 seconds. Get my Donovan Sharp on. And fun though. That's like, what I I'm think saying. You don't have to look at it in a negative way. You could be like, yo, there's so many new no, cool things I'm about negative, to learn. But it's, it's a, it's a, a... Look at her. Eye-opening, like he's different. Yeah. His culture is different from mine. But when we come together, we know about compatibility. Yes. And that's, yes. 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 And that's why so. I consider the word interracial to be inter-responsible. It is your responsibility if I you date another word. person of their culture. Get to know their background. Exactly. Get to know their heritage, their traditions. Not all cultures are the, are the same. Mr. Wong might not have it with Miss Mai. Yeah. And, and then we might have different cultures that we do, you know, um, in different ways. Don't you got to get to know the person's background regardless? <laughs> like, like, yo, like you think just because we're both black, we're going to have the same experience? This is the stupid. This is stupid thinking. Of course, you get to know the other person's background, even if they're the black, even if they're the same race. Just because you might be black, even if you're from, both from the hood, you might be from the hood, but have way better support group. You might be from the hood, but have a lot better of a, a structure system within your immediate household. Our backgrounds ain't this. Is this why y'all have so many divorces? Our backgrounds ain't the same just because we're black. But most important thing is to venture outside of your safe zone because there's something else out there that you could learn from and really learn to benefit yourself. Well, I have a yeah. question for Lonnie. Like, what was one of those things that you really enjoyed learning about him that was, like, really different? Um, the thing that's different about him is that it's okay. not about him being better. He's still a man. Yeah. But it's the loyalty that I like. Mm. Oh. You know what I mean? It's like, I can leave. Oh. 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 Hey, he's there for me. What? That's cool. That's tear dropping. 
you leave and he's not like, fuck you, bye. <laughs> what experience have you had, Lonnie? This is the, the, the bar is incredibly low here. Seriously? Your example of his loyalty is you leave and he's there for you. Jeez, can I get this bar with somebody, please? I swear when you leave the house, I'll be like, hey, babe, I'm right here on the couch when you get back. And he loves you so much. He loves you so much. The way he treats you. The way he talks to her. I have like, sweetie, one friend. Honey. I was talking to her and um, we, we, it was a podcast. She is trying her best to fake fucking cry. She's trying to pretend like she can't get words out. It's come, come on, Lottie. Come, like, let, let, let's go back and just watch as she pretends to struggle through these words. Oh my. He loves you so. The way he treats you. The way he talks to her. I have like, sweetie, one friend. Honey. I was talking to her, and um, we, 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 it was a podcast. What are you wiping? And you know her really well. What do you want? And wiping? she's like, you know, I don't need no man. And I, I have my friends. talking about and, immediately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, girl, don't. And this is why I'm so emotional about it, because so many of our sisters are so lonely. Yeah. yeah. And they don't want to admit it. And all they got to do is just take a chance. So I don't want. Take a chance on what? Take a chance on what? A non-black guy? Again, 40% at least of black men, adult men, are single and childless. So, again, either you don't want them or they don't want you. And this is the conversation? This is the conversation. Jeez. You people who think like this are so fake. to have somebody to say hey or pick me up from the airport yeah, yeah. or you know your you like a lady. Wakes up. I will tell Oh my god. Dude, please give me this bar. Where the, don't look like Lonnie. Please give me this bar. Please. I'm begging you, just pick you up from the airport. That's it. Give you a hug when you walk in the door. That's it. Do this thing have a job? Does he have a fucking job? Please give me this bar. Wow. I will be husband of the year if I had this bar. Matter of fact, they ain't even married. I'll be boyfriend of the year if I had this fucking bar. Jeez. I miss being in the arms of a man. Yes, that's real. Yeah. I do. I really, that's one of the things. It's like, I just want to lay my head on a man's chest. I miss that. I do. Yeah. And that's the thing that you deserve, you know? You, and it's, I don't want you to stop giving up on that. And it doesn't make you, like, it doesn't make you a weak woman to no, say, I good. need that. Shoot. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I need yeah. that or I want that. And yeah. I think sometimes as women, we put so much pressure on ourselves to be oh. so independent and strong and I don't need anybody. And if... Whoa. Did you just admit that y'all put the pressure on yourself? So y'all can no longer... Ask for this uh, uh, applause and pickup because of pressure you chose, right? We're admitting that now, right? You put the pressure on yourself to be independent. We can get over this now, right? That's on the table. Because every time, y'all always want to use that as, we got to do it all. We got so much bread. We got so you got what you wanted, Right? But don't want to hear this no more as an excuse for anything. I want to hear it as a bargain either. You're choosing that. It's actually refreshing to hear you say, I miss that. Yeah. I would like yeah, that. That's being truthful. That. That's being truthful because yeah. I think I know for me growing up in the projects, my mama always said, you know, you just get your education. You stay away from boys. You, you yeah. graduate. Yeah. You get you a good job. And I did all of that, but she didn't tell me also get you a good man. Yeah. And I tried. You got to do something for your heart. I tried. Too. Yeah. What about and it your just heart? Wasn't, and sometimes it don't work out. I ain't saying the first person you go out with is going to work out. It may not. I see you, sister. I see you. No. You keep doing it, okay? You don't give up. You deserve love like everybody else. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I know. It's, it's oh. just so because we're hurting as a nation. And the most disrespected group in America. Y'all get this shit on TV regularly? 
I think America has made up for it. I think America has given you your due diligence. I really do. This 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 was stupid. This was stupid. This was a whole seven seven minute and twenty four second segment about hey, why are you guys still voluntarily single? Because you know the people in your group are forty at least forty percent single and childless. So hey. This voluntarily situation you guys are choosing, it's making it a little lonely. You guys deserve applause, back pats and rubs, and really? Really? The most disrespected group in America. A lot of the things that you see, how we're divided, how we're mean, is because we don't have the love that we yeah. need. And you need to go out yeah. and find it. that one person. Yeah, there's a lot that of people. That you feel good. Yeah. That one person that you can turn to when you have a bad day. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to turn to your girlfriends or your mama or somebody. You turn to that one person, he understands and looks in your eye. Yeah. That's the one you keep it. I don't care what color he is. Yes, yes. absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. Okay. <sighs> That's that how we so transition after that. <laughs> yes. Well, let's take a break. <laughs> that shit's so fake. For all of you who act like this, you are so fucking full of it. You are full of shit. You voluntarily are single and you wanna come on and and, and do the pity party? Really? Listen, you won't say it, I'll say it for you. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're the reason you're single and lonely. Because um, all of them, to, uh, how, how the fuck old is Lonnie and that other chick? Martin's girlfriend? All the way up until that age. It's fuck you. I can do bad all by myself. Uh, but now all of a sudden, hugs matter. Now all of a sudden, just being there matters. Now all of a sudden, just picking up from the airport matters. That's where the bar is now. Bro, yup. Be right, not positive. I'm out.